And here was our grandpa uh, decided to give me some goodies. He loves his Sanye branded stuff, that's for sure. He's always sworn by Sanye, so I always bought Sanye radios and TVs. And he still does buy stuff made by this brand. There's nothing wrong with that, he must have upgraded, so I've got a nice spare clock radio. I want with a um, nice old top of the green uh, LED display too, instead of the, um, the red ones or the, 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 the other ones made today seem to have. This still works all right, I just got dirty, uh, really dirty switches. Been collecting dust for a long time. And the story behind this one, this was given to, uh, he, he uh, bought this one from my mum for a birthday present back in there when she was in year 7, so that was a long time ago. The model is RP6160, accept accepted by the State Electricity Commission of Victoria. Letter of acceptance. Used to see that a lot in old stuff. Made in Singapore. Yeah, the early 80s, I think. That's when the Japanese made stuff started to get a bit expensive because of labour costs. Hard to find Japanese made stuff now. Works okay. Bit dirty. The AM, that's the AM there. You get a real low tone that I get today's, today's type of uh, listening. Oh, you can't go high. Even as an integrated circuit, back then that was really cool. Tuning on. Settled for it. He's on the wing in front of that. Quick kick inside 50. Bounces once into Cloak's hands. Yeah, Tanner Downer performs pretty well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nothing. Yeah, that switch is dirty bad. Yeah. Dial cord was slipping when I first tried this, but it's actually improving now. It was sitting right there. And it's 5 RM. She used to listen to it all the time, 5 RM back those days, and that's where it was when I first grabbed it. So, it's been sitting in there for ages. No, no AM signal at all. That's one dirty, dusty switch. We're gonna have to pull this thing apart and give them a good spray with some contact cleaner. Get this thing cleaned up, and it'll work like brand new. Turn it off. I couldn't help myself, but I had to go out in the backyard where these are laying and grab these. Blown incandescent light bulbs, and yep, you want to know what's going to happen with this? When I connect it to the ZVS, you want to know what's going to happen to that? You've got to do it. Same with that one. So they're both kind of your arc victims. Okay, the other backs off. Yeah, it's been sitting dormant for a while, a lot of dust in there. First time it's ever been opened up. Pretty uh, straightforward inside there. There's the um, integrated circuit. Yeah, a bit flimsy. This is just as, as the um, cheap, flimsy Creptronic era was coming in. But the reliability of this thing is just amazing. Nice big uh, ferret rod AM antenna for distant stations. You don't see that much anymore in modern uh, portable radios. Well, Digital radios barely have AM anymore. I see very few digital radios with AM, um, the AM band on them. They're just FM. That's what I got. So I've got to clean that switch. That's the one there that doesn't work. The AM won't work, so I've got to get out plenty of contact cleaner, the volume uh, potentiometer, and the headphone jack. Good quality caps too, Rubicons. This is a special uh, unique cord. It's a good thing it's still got the original cord. Made by Kawasaki. All right, let's give this thing clean, and it should work quite nicely. It's got a genuine Sanyo for a 8 ohm 1 watt speaker. Some contact cleaning and some air compressed, compressed air dusting. Yeah, that works. Nice and quiet there. No. Yeah, that one's a bit harder to get to, I think. Look where the switch is in this one. This is a hard one to get to, so I'll switch off. Safety first, unplug. 
Yeah. That one is in a complicated spot. Very hard for the contact cleaner to get in there and penetrate. This one's going to be a little bit, uh, a little bit tricky. Hmm. This one took a bit of convincing. Put contact cleaner in there. Switch to like an absolute maniac. Bit of compressed there to help. Still wouldn't work, so I'll touch my hand. And yeah, see what I got through, so it was working. All of a sudden, I messed around with that switch again, and now it works. So, it works. He's a good kick down swan. The last time I said that about somebody kicking out in the pool. So he's a good set, he's a good set shot. Oh, 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 yes. He's got a good little performer. That's where it was, 5RM. Hmm, something there. Yep, still works. Interesting. Works quite well. Works quite well. Just got a little bit of a cosmetic cleanup, a little bit of methylated spirits, and that'll take all the dust off and bring out the shine in this little uh, radio. Quite a nice old one, actually. A good little performer, too, on AM and FM. So, you don't see that much nowadays on modern radios. There we are. Our nice spare clock radio. Anyway, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.